All right, here we go. Ownership costs. What does it actually take to own, race, and track your own vehicle? In this notepad right here, I have written everything down, and I am kind of like ashamed, but also extremely shocked about the numbers that we came up with. I'm going to break everything down through each and every single car that we have owned. Secondly, I'm going to choose uh, which is the most affordable, but also which is the most expensive. We're going to start with the most recent vehicles we have uh, purchased and added to the channel. I'm not going to count the Ford Raptor R because that's a pickup truck, right? And uh, you don't really race a pickup truck on the racetrack, do you? <laughs> Let's first start off with the Corvette Z06. Right here, I have written down all the little notes of um, how many tires we have gone through. We have not gone through just one set of tires, not just two, not three, not four. We are on our fifth set of Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2Rs. These are the most expensive Michelin track tires you can really buy that are street legal. These are the same tires that come on the uh, Porsche GT3 RS, the uh, Ferrari Pistas, the SF90s, when you get the track spec, the Assetto Furano package, I believe it is. They are very wide in the Corvette, 345 width, by a 25 tall sidewall on a 21 inch wheel. It's got like the widest front tires I've personally ever seen on a mid-engine vehicle. 275 wide by 30 tall, the sidewall, and then on a 20 inch wheel. Just recently, the Chevy dealer quoted me at $809 per rear. That is crazy. You can buy these tires for about $686 from Tire Rack for the rear tires. 488 for the fronts. Out the door for a set of four tires, you're looking at $2,564 when you count that times five, you're looking at $12,823. And it's a saddening. It really is saddening how, how much money that is. Also, how many track days have those tires been used for? First off, we went to uh, Big Willow. We've also been to Auto Club Speedway in Fontana, California, Button Willow Raceway, Circuit of the Americas in uh, Austin, Texas. Also, we have been to Chuckwalla Valley Raceway. These are with our own car. If you connect all the dots, five different sets of tires on about five track days that were with our own car, about one and a half track days per single set of Cup 2Rs. That's not even counting in the cost to mount each tire. It adds up over time. The most recent thing I actually heard from the Chevy dealer, the only location that knows how to mount these tires, because no other Chevy dealer knows how to do it yet, they told me it's gonna cost me $600 in labor this week to mount the tires. I responded saying that's like, double what the most expensive uh, supercars are for their carbon fiber wheels. For example, like Ferrari. And I was told since they're the only ones that can do it, that will be the price. And that's how much time it takes with labor. So that means that I think it's the second most expensive tire change outside of like a Bugatti Veyron. I can't believe it. No one wants to really mount them, so I have to pay the price. I gotta pay the price. Moving on from that, let's look at the Corvette, actually no, the McLaren. Let's look at the McLaren 600LT. I have used about four sets of tires. The original Pirelli P0 McLaren tires were all season tires. I took them off right away. I started tracking with Goodyear 3Rs because the McLaren community, such nice people. Everyone is very friendly. It's a good click of uh, nice, great people. All the owners rec recommended the Goodyear 3Rs and I'm very happy I listened to their recommendations because they have been not only extremely consistent, extremely fast, they've also been extremely affordable compared to other alternatives on the market. A full set of Goodyear's originally ran me about uh, $1,979.68. I used that for about three to four track days. Uh, after that, I put on Hoosier R7s out the door with tax. All the numbers I'm talking about are with tax, by the way. It was $2,547.40 for a set of Hoosiers. Over 500 bucks more than a set of Goodyear 3Rs for the McLaren, though still less altogether than a single set of uh, Z06 Cup 2Rs, surprisingly. <laughs> for our most recent set of 3Rs, I did widen the front tires by about 10 millimeters. That added about $200 to the overall price of the tires. So I was looking at $2,225.46 for that most recent set. Though I have run that set now on over two track days and I've driven on them for a year. I have spent around $9,000 from my estimate right here to mount each set of tires, about 150 bucks or so. 
Hey, yeah, that's familiar. That's about the price to mount a single Cup 2R on a single carbon wheel on the Corvette from the Chevy dealer. I love both cars. I'm just trying to explain to you how um, the Z06 is gonna be much cheaper to buy, but there's a caveat. It will cost more to run. You're probably asking yourself this question right here. Austin, what are you doing? You're probably changing tires way too early for the Corvette. In the owner's manual, it actually tells you to change tires after two tanks of fuel for track driving. That we have been doing. And from my experience, it's pretty accurate. Now the C8 Stingray is the ultimate bang for the buck. If you have that car, congratulations, because the performance you can get out of it with a set of Cup 2s or an R compound is really, really good. I'm very impressed with that car. I have not spent near that much money for my Stingrays, and I've had the Stingrays since 2020, all the way till now, so about three years I've had a stingray of some sort and tracked it. The brakes though don't last near as long as the Z06. I can go seven plus track days I think with the Z06 going for good laps. Uh, the stingray I would get about two track days uh, going 10 tenths then I'd burn through a set of pads for the uh, Brembos. It's been consistent I can go to three four track days with a single set and push the car very hard and use up all the rubber till the very end. Very impressed with that car. The GT500 track pack, I went through rubber in like one day with that car. Also a tank of gas in about 20 to 30 minutes of going hard, like 10 tens on a long, fast track. The track pack GT500 was less money for me than my Ford Raptor R. That shows you how much of a great bang for your buck that car really is, and I'm so happy to have the chance to own it. Overall, the cost to buy the GT500 track pack is still significantly less than my Z06 was, so the cost is not that high yet. The base model GT500 with the normal PS4s, you can get way more time out of that car on track than with the Cup 2s. <laughs> the harder the rubber compound, the longer the tires will last on the racetrack. So I think with a standard Z06 in comparison with the PS4 tires, you can get a good amount of track days um, in with them and it'll be more consistent than the Cup 2Rs from my experience. Finally, that leads me to the GT350 R we used to use. This car it was great. It was a very light car in comparison to the GT500. It weighed about 600 pounds less, about 3,600 pounds or so. It performed great. I love that car. True, proper, manual experience. You won't find that anymore. Times are changing very much. With track camber, all the cars I've actually ran have used track camber. If I didn't mention that earlier, my apologies. Now you know. So everything has been dialed in. I would get about three track days off a set of a Cup 2s with the uh, GT350R. I would say two to three track days. I think in the back of this trailer is close to $30,000 of tires and I've thrown them all away because I'm done reusing some of them. They're heat cycled. We've used everything to the max of their capability. Was it all worth it? Would you spend this much money to track a car? It's a lot, you can buy a whole new car for the amount of money we have spent, but the thrill, the experience, you will not feel that buying a brand new $30,000 car. In my opinion, it's worth it as long as you enjoy and appreciate every single moment it gives you. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to hit the like button. Also subscribe and I'll see all of you in the next episode.